we're uh, going to go over uh, the breakdown of the name. I know at times it sounds like we're going over the same things over and over again, uh, but I think from at times some of the emails that you receive in, some of the questions, uh, it's necessary because it's sometimes it takes a little bit of review over and over in order to get the uh, uh, the understanding properly. So when we look at why did the state, when it set up its system, um, that is allowed to exist until God's righteous kingdom arrives um, to change things from its you know, current unrighteous state. Why is it that we have the names separated the way they do? Well, um, when we look at it, it's for a good reason because it's to separate basically power and authority. So when we're looking at your God-given name, how many people don't believe in this? So they're gonna have a hard time in the comprehension of it, but that's why they're caught up in the confusion. Uh, people that do not have a spirituality or a belief in God are going to have a real hard time with the final solution on this uh, because of the fact is that their direction will lead them to a lack of uh, a lack of true faith and hopelessness. Uh, we're dealing with God given; it's a gift. Um, that's why you know we call it uh, you know basically a gift is a present. You are pre sent to do good. So your God given name is something that comes from the source of life that is there to do something righteous and good. The other side, so we just separate that as John Doe, so John would be on that side, and then we're dealing with Doe, we're gonna deal with the other side there. It deals with the satanic assigned, uh, you know, debtor surname, of course. Um, we know that one side is free in the spiritual sense. In the legal sense, of course, the satanic uh, debtor name is not free. Um, it's something that's charged, it's a lien. Okay, it's an alien to truth. The true side is free from debt or sin or charge. It is not a leand. There's no debt. It's exempt. And so we have to go through this to see this side, why you're living mainly in this side right now when you're waking up to this truth so that you can comprehend where you're going to go and why it would have been set up in this way, because there had to be a choice. Were you gonna be part of the alien, encumbered, tax side, or were you gonna be part of those that had woke up to spiritual knowledge and were free? Not free from their obligation to God, but free from the legal craziness and chaos of the satanic world that basically has stolen the spirit away from the majority of the population. So I hope this has helped you. And we're leading to, of course, the word exempt. And that's where you're going to be going on this journey if you're trying to follow the spiritual remedy.